Well, hello. Every day that we spend on this earth, we are discovering new, new things. We found that we still know nothing about this universe. But you will find that there are some people who are proud of themselves and think that they have got an enormous knowledge. But unfortunately, this information that we have got, it is exactly like the baby's information, zero. Today, we are going to travel to our space to give you some strange information about the space and some theories about this universe. So let's get started. The closest planet to the sun and the fastest planet orbits around this sun, Mercury, this amazing planet in our solar system with about 4,879 kilometers across. Mercury's diameter is just less than half the diameter of the Earth. It is the smallest planet on the solar system and only dwarf planets like Pluto are smaller. And because Mercury is much closer to the sun than the Earth, it can only be seen just after the sun goes down or shortly before it rises in the morning. And exactly like our moon, Mercury has craters. The largest basin on Mercury is the Carlos Basin. It is about 1,300 km wide. It was created by a huge asteroid hitting Mercury. This asteroid was 100 km wide, but it hit Mercury's surface so hard that it made a much bigger hole. But what you will notice, the surface of Mercury has got also a big scarps. They were made a long time ago. When Mercury cooled down, it shrank, causing the surface to get wrinkled in some places. And this wrinkling created the scarps. There may also an ice on the top and the bottom of the Mercury. And exactly like Earth, these areas does not get much warmth from the sun. Mercury is very hot during the day, which is over 400 Celsius. But the strange thing is that Mercury at night is very cold because Mercury almost loses all its heat since there is no atmosphere to keep the warmth there. And the temperature can fall to almost minus 175 Celsius. But what is also strange about Mercury is that if we were standing on the Mercury at the equator, and timed how long it would take the sun to directly go from overhead position to sunset to sunrise and again rise directly overhead. It would take 176 Earth days. But what about the gravity on this planet? The gravity on this planet is gonna pull you down as much as 30% of the Earth gravity. And to make it much simpler for you, if an item weighs about 100 kg, it would weigh about 38 kg on Mercury. 